Aloha and welcome to Upside Down Pilates. In today's lesson, we'll be doing a level two reformer workout. With us are Malia and Shannon. We're so excited to have them with us today. All right, ladies, are you ready? Lie down, we're gonna do some breathing. So go ahead and lie down onto your backs, bring your feet onto the foot bar and bring your arms down by your sides and let's just find a nice neutral pelvis and we'll take a few breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Here we go, nice big inhale through the nose and nice big exhale through the mouth. And again, big breath in through the nose and big breath out, belly to the back, back to the belly. And again, deep inhale and exhale. And one more like this, big breath in through the nose and big breath out through the mouth. Okay, let's go ahead, take our hands, put them by our rib cage, and now we're gonna expand right and left with our rib cage, but try and keep our belly button to our spine the whole time. Here we go, inhale, expanding right and left. And now exhale, lace those ribs together. And again, inhale, expanding right and left. And exhale, lace those ribs right down to your belly button. Two more times, big inhale right and left. And nice big exhale. And one more time ladies, nice big inhale. And nice big exhale. Excellent. Okay, let's bring our arms down by our sides, and we're actually gonna do footwork. So we need to have about three springs on. So come on up, and add up to about three springs. You can do two and a half to three and a half, but three is good at level two. And we're gonna bring your legs all the way together right now, heels on, feet flex like they're up against an imaginary wall, arms are down by your sides. Neutral pelvis. Right. we will exhale on the way out. So inhale, and here we go. Exhale, press it out, and 10. And then inhale, pull it in like you're sitting in a chair. And exhale, nine. Inhale, in. Exhale, eight. Sit back in the chair. And again, seven. Pull it in. And six. Pull it in. And five, draw it in. And four, bring it in. And three, and in. Two more, press it out. Two, and in. Last time, one, bring it in, good. Maintaining neutral, we're gonna bring your feet down uh, to the arches, so on your arches, and then you'll feel like your toes and your heels are wrapping around. Okay, here we go. Inhale, prepare, exhale, press it out. A one, bring it in. And a two, bring it in. And a three, ribs stay connected. Inhale, exhale, four, Toes stay wrapped around that bar. And a five. And in. You're feeling the glutes and hamstrings work on the way out. Six. And in. And a seven. And in. And an eight. And in. And nine. And in. Last time, please. Ten. And in, good job. All right, let's do toes on high heels. I'm gonna bring you a spacer to make sure that your ankles stay equidistant. So you're gonna have your big toes touching and then you're gonna have this little space between your ankles. Feel the ball of the big toe and you're trying to reach the ball of the pinky toe down equal. And then you're gonna lift the heels like you have stiletto heels on and keep the heels still in space as you go in and out, all right? Inhale, exhale, press it out. One, and then as you come in, inhale, keep those heels still. And again, two, bring it in. And again, three, draw it in. 
and again four bring it in and five and in and six and in and seven and in and exhale eight and in good keeping the knees straight to the sky nine and in one more time please and ten nice all right i'm going to take the spacers we're going to go into toes on heels together toes apart so baby v or pilates v you want about a fist distance between your toes heels again are going to be lifted and they're going to stay still in space as we go in and out so inhale and exhale give it a press squeeze from the back and then pull it back in and again Wrap the back of the hips, pull it in two. And press out, inhale in. Exhale, press, bring it in. And again, press, control the carriage in. Halfway there, this is five. And again, it's still like you're sitting in a chair. And six and knees are angling right through the middle toe. Seven, and uh, eight, and uh, nine. One more time, 10. Good, bring it on in, okie dokie. Let's go to parallel. I'm gonna give you the spacer again. Good, everybody's favorite. Don't drop your purple pillow of pleasure. You're gonna press out, we'll lower lift our heels 10 times, then we'll come in halfway, lower lift our heels 10 times. We'll inhale as we lift, okay? So go ahead, press out, and give yourself a nice big inhale, stay. Exhale, lower the heels, 10. Pull it up, inhale, exhale, nine, and up and lower eight inhale lift exhale lower inhale lift and six lift it up and five lift it up control it four lift it up control down three lift and two lift last set and a one Lift, nice, keep those stilettos on. Now pull in halfway, perfect. Don't drop your pillows. Here we go, lower the heels. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift. Exhale, two, and lift. Keep going, three, yep. And we're keeping our carriage nice and still as we do this, four. Feels very nice around our vastus medialis. Five, and of course, all the muscles in our ankles. Six, and uh, seven, and uh, eight, and two more, nine, and uh, 10. Good, lift it up and bring your carriage home. Okay, I'm gonna grab your pillows, thank you. We're going to do heels on again. We'll do uh, second position. So we'll do parallel, turned out, turned in. So start with parallel wide, just about sits bone distance apart. And we're going to change our breathing now. We'll inhale out and we'll exhale in. Okay, we'll go for 10. Here we go, press it out. Inhale, press, and exhale, pull one. Inhale, press, pull it in two. And we press, pull it in three. Again, keeping neutral, press, and a four, and press, and a five, and press, and a six. Push it out, pull it in seven, push it out, pull it in eight. Two more ladies, big inhale, big exhale. Last time. Excellent. Okay, turned out. So now you're going to go to the outsides of the bar. Open those knees nice and wide. And you can imagine that you're reaching your knees towards your pinky toe to make sure that you get that nice rotation at your hip socket. Okay. 
Here we go, press it out, inhale. Inhale, press and draw it in one. Inhale, press it out, pull it in two. And press it out, pull it in three. And we press, we pull it in four. Breathe in, breathe out, five. Keeping neutral, and a six. Four more, please. Inhale, exhale, seven. Three more. Inhale, exhale, eight. Two more. Inhale, exhale, nine. Last time, please press it out, pull it in. Good. Stay right there with your heels. For level two, we're gonna go into medial rotation. So go ahead, bring your knees together. Heels stay on. As you press out, your knees will come apart, but they're gonna keep turning in so that your kneecaps are shining towards each other. And then as you come in, you're gonna squeeze your knees together as soon as you can. Great workout for your VMO. Here we go. Inhale, give it a push. And exhale, draw those knees nice and tight. 10. Inhale, we press and a nine and press and an eight looks like you've done this before press and a seven and press and a six push the carriage five push the carriage and pull four and feel like you're really using those muscles three and press, and two, we can think of pulling our kneecaps up for our sexy knees, and one, good. All right, single leg, you passed the second position test. Come on up, turn side, pop yourself up. You can do one and a half or two springs. Two is normal, but if it's a bit much, you can drop it down to one and a half. For level two, we're gonna do your right heel on with your left leg up at tabletop. So we'll do 10, or yeah, we'll do 10 single heel, and then we'll go into single toe, tabletop, and then bicycle. As we're doing this, remember we're trying to keep our two hip bones and our rib cage in a nice square. If you're wanting, you can put your thumbs at your ribs and your fingers at your hip bones, uh, and try and keep that equidistance so you don't smash your square into a circle or some other interesting shape that you may come up with. All right, here we go, ladies. Again, inhale out. Inhale, press it out. And then exhale, pull it in. And give it a push. Inhale, and pull it in. Nice. And this is much more exciting than it looks, I know. Three, keeping those hips square, keeping the ribs square. Four, we all like to get a little hula or Tahitian going in there. Five, feel the glute on the standing leg work nice and hard. Six, and again, remember, you're angling the knee towards the pinky toe. Seven, but keeping the big toe straight to the sky. Eight, press. Nine, one more. Press, 10, good, change. Left heel on, right leg up at tabletop. Top leg is going to stay pointed. Here we go, press it out, inhale. 10, and pull it in. And press, nine, pull it in. And the left leg is always more exciting than the right. Eight, pull it in. And seven. Pull it in, and six, draw it in, and five, draw it in. Four more, please. Four, and three, and two, one more, press it out. One, oh yes, delicious. All right, right toe is gonna go on. Nice high heel. Again, we're gonna try and keep that heel still in space so it's not bobbing up and down as we go in and out. We'll do five with our leg at tabletop and then we're gonna do five bicycle, press in and out. All right, again, try to keep the hips still so they're not wibble wobbling around. 
Here we go. Press it out. Inhale. Press and pull it in. Five. And press and draw it in. And press. Inhale. Exhale in. And inhale. Exhale in. Last one. Inhale. Draw it in. Now straighten your left leg out across on a little diagonal. Nice. Inhale, press out and bend your left knee. And then exhale, pull it in, straighten the left leg. Five. Inhale, press. Pull it in. Four. Good. And we press. Pull it in. Three. And we press. Pull it in. Two. Nice. And we press. Pull it in one. Nice. All right. Go ahead, change. You're going to put your left foot on. Right leg up at tabletop. Five tabletop. Five bicycles. Here we go. Inhale. Give it a press and draw it in. And two. Draw it in. And three. Draw it in. And four. Draw in. One more, please. Press it out. Big inhale. And exhale. Now go ahead. Reach that right leg across. Here we go. Inhale. Press out. Bend that right knee. Exhale. Draw it in. One. And press out. Draw it in. Two. Good. And press out. Draw it in. Three. Beautiful. And press out. Draw it in four, and press out, and five. Very nice, ladies. Okay, we are going to go into toe taps, directly followed by our hundreds with our legs out on a little diagonal. So, come on up. You can choose anywhere between half to two springs. At level two, generally between half and one is best. Uh, just depending on your strength level at the time. Okay, so you pick, then you're gonna lay down. Our legs will go up at tabletop, reach back, and you're gonna get the short loops in your hands. Always remember to be down far enough so your shoulders aren't jammed up against your shoulder rests. Good. All right, legs at tabletop, and then go ahead, draw your arms down by your sides. We'll be an imprint, and we're gonna start with our right toe, dip it down to the springs, trying to keep the shape of our leg at a 90 degree angle, all right? Let's go inhale down. Inhale, dip down towards your springs. Exhale, hollow the abs and bring it up. Left leg, dip it down, deep inhale. Exhale up, keep reaching energy out those fingers. And right toe down, and we draw it up. And left toe down. And we draw it up. That was two. Inhale, dipping it down. Exhale, hollow the abs more. Left leg, dipping it down. And draw it up. Two more sets. Right leg down. And exhale up. Left leg down. And exhale up. One more set. Right leg down. And up. And left leg down. Beautiful. Bring it up. Nod your chin. Inhale. Exhale. Fold forward. Shoot those legs out on a little diagonal for our hundreds. Inhale. A oh, one, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. In. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, twenty. Inhale. Two, three, four, five, out. Two, three, four, thirty. Inhale. Two, three, four, five. Look how still those carriages are. Forty. Inhale. Two. Three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, fifty. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, sixty. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, seventy. Inhale, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, eighty. Almost there, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, ninety. Inhale, two, three, four, Five, exhale, two, three, four. You've made it. Bend those knees, reach more forward. Give me a big smile. And lower down, ladies. Nice work. Okay, ladies. We're going to go into bend and stretch, which is kind of like plies with our feet in the straps. So let's change our springs. You're going to come up 
and you can do anywhere between one and a half to two and a half. Two is pretty standard at this level, so I would recommend two. And then you're gonna lay down and we will put our straps on our feet. So pick up both straps and get them ready to go. And you're gonna take one leg and press into that foot and bring the other leg up to the sky. And then you're gonna put the strap on the fulcrum of the ankle so you can easy point and flex. Step into that, anchor in your abs, pull up that other leg, and then get that strap on the fulcrum of the ankle. Good, and go ahead, press all the way out. Let us rock back and forth between imprint and neutral today while we're doing bend and stretch. And we're gonna do turned out or lateral rotation and then turned in. All right, so we'll start with turned out, heels together, toes apart. Here we go, inhale, bend the knees, flex the feet, go to neutral. Exhale, press out and point and go to imprint. A 10, and bend it in neutral and imprint. Nine, bend it in neutral and eight bend it in neutral press out a little lower seven oh yes then we get to feel our tush a little bit more six so we want our heels to be sliding like they're going across the table five and uh, four beautiful and uh, three neutral on the way in Imprint on the way out, two, neutral, and imprint. Nice, okay, rock that pelvis to neutral. We're gonna maintain neutral the rest of the time. Flex your feet and you're gonna immediately rotate or turn in. Your big toes are kissing, but not a French kiss. It's just a little peck, okay? Here we go, bend in, bring the knees together, and then press out, reach through the heels, good, 10. Bend it in, and a nine. Bend it in, and an eight. Bend it in, and a seven. Knees come tight, and pull the quads up six, and bring it in, and reach through the heels five, Inhale in, very nice with your toes, ladies. Four, they haven't popped apart at all. And three, two more. Two, and uh, one. Good, all right, we're gonna do adductor stretch. So you're gonna bring your legs to parallel and we will go crease the legs up and then as you, we're gonna open, close the legs twice and you're gonna rotate your legs to turn out and then when you press back down, you're gonna go into parallel. Okay, so start an imprint. Inhale, crease the legs up to neutral. Without moving the carriage, turn out and open. One, and bring it together, heels touch. And two, bring it together and then go back into imprint and parallel. Press it down, good, and again. Bring it up to neutral, inhale, exhale, open, inhale, close, and open, inhale, close, exhale, press down in parallel. That was two. And inhale, bring it up to neutral, keep that carriage still, turn out, open and close, and open and close, press it down, three. Nice, inhale, bring it up, and open and close and open and close press it down four last set ladies bring it up and open and close and open and close press down Five. All right, ladies, we are gonna go into a portion of short spine. So we're just gonna do the roll portion up and down. Uh, we will bring our legs up, going into neutral, roll up through our spine, and then we'll roll back down through our spine and press our legs out straight, okay? 
Here we go. Inhale, crease your legs up to neutral. Now exhale, peel the spine off and bring it up in between your shoulder blades. Now do a check, make sure you can lift your head a little bit so you're not cranking in your neck. Good, deep breath in, stay. And now we roll down, bone by bone by bone, stretching out our lower back. And we hit our max, you can squeeze the glutes and hamstrings, hollow the abs and press it down. Good, again, here we go. Inhale, crease to neutral, exhale. Peel the spine up, inhale, stay, and exhale, control the spine down, nice big stretch, bring your shoulders with you on the way down, beautiful, and press out. Again, inhale, crease the legs up, exhale, roll through the lower back and peel up, inhale, stay, and exhale, rolling down. Reach the low back down, and then press out. Go to imprint on the way out. Two more. Inhale, crease up, and exhale. Roll it up. Inhale, stay. Exhale, roll it down. And press it out. Nice work. One more time. Inhale, crease up, and exhale. Roll up. Inhale, stay, and exhale, roll down, and press it out. Good, moving into beats. So we turned out, heels together, toes apart, an imprint to start. We'll bend the knees, flex the feet, go to neutral, then exhale, press out, and then we'll go a beat, a beat, a beat, okay? Here we go, inhale, bend the knees, flex the feet, go to neutral, exhale, press out and point, and beats, a one, and a two, and a three. Inhale, bend in, exhale, press and reach, and a beat, and a beat, and a beat. Again, inhale, in, and exhale, press. This is three, two, one. Bend in, and press, and a beat, and a beat, and a beat. Last set, please. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, imprint, and squeeze those heels together. Nice. Okay, fancy dance moves coming up here, kids. We're gonna do the frog. So this is a more advanced level two exercise, all right? Keep turned out the whole time. All right, let's, here we go, ladies. Inhale, crease the legs up to neutral. Now, keep the carriage still, make a diamond. So bend the knees, toes come together, heels are apart, and knees are reaching to the sides of the room. Now here's the trick, don't let the carriage move. Open your legs out on a little V. Gorgeous, flex the feet. Now sweep the legs down and around, bring those heels together, and then point the toes. Let's do it again. Inhale, crease up neutral. Exhale, make a diamond. Inhale, open into a V. Exhale, flex, circle around, and point the toes. One more. Inhale, bring it up to neutral. Exhale, make a diamond. Inhale, make a V. Exhale, flex, circle around, and point the toes. Okay, stay there. Now we gotta reverse this little guy. Flex the feet. Now you're gonna circle around, and go to neutral pelvis all at the same time. Stay there, make a diamond. Don't let the carriage move. Now, bring the legs straight to the sky. Don't let the carriage move and press down and go to imprint. Nice, here we go. Inhale, flex and circle to a V. Exhale, make a diamond. Try not to let the carriage move. Inhale, legs go straight up. Exhale, press it down. Nice work, one more. Inhale, flex and circle. Exhale, diamond please. Inhale, straight to the sky. And exhale, press down. Nice, all right, give yourself a little super split. So you can go ahead and go straddle. And just stretch your inner thighs out for a sec. Good. And then when you're done, go ahead, take your straps off. So take one strap off and then put that foot right down on the foot bar so you have an anchor. Good. And then you can take the other strap off and put your straps, long loops on your silver posts. Nice. 
Okay, we're gonna move into our baby knee stretches. First, we're gonna do 10 pushes and then 10 hovers. You can do one, one and a half, or two springs for this. I think you guys will be good on one and a half. So go ahead and do one and a half. So the lighter it is, the harder it is on your abs. The heavier it is, the harder it is on your legs and your arms. Okay, here we go. On all fours, and we'll start with the presses. Toes are gonna go up against the shoulder rests. Hands are gonna be on the wood. You're gonna put your arms up towards the shoulder rest because we don't wanna move our arms. We're practicing just moving at our hip joint. So we will exhale, press out, inhale in. Make sure our upper middle back is wide to the sky. All right, inhale, prepare. Exhale, press out, squeeze the tush. And now inhale, stick your tush out in neutral on the way in. Good. And again, exhale, press it out and squeeze. And then inhale, bring it in. And again, press it out. This is three. And inhale, bring it in. Arms stay up against the foot bar. And again, four. Inhale, bring it in. And five. Inhale, bring it in. And six. And bring it in. And seven. And bring it in. And eight. Nice work, ladies. Draw it in. Keep the upper middle back wide. Nine. And in. Last set. Ten. And bring it in. Okay. Now. Stay there. You're going to try and keep the carriage still, and we're just going to hover our knees off the carriage about half inch. So inhale, prepare. Exhale, hover the knees. And bring it down. So easy. So as you hover, remember, upper middle back stays wide. We don't want our shoulder blades pinching together here. And again, hover it up. Two. And lower it down. And hover three. Lower it down. This is fun. Four. And a down and a five, and a down. Ribs connect, six, shoulders down the back, head is out and long, seven, we're almost there, and eight, and down, and nine, and down. Last set, here we go, 10, and rest. Ah. Okay, we're not done, because we're gonna go flip the other way and do some par parallelograms. So this one you can do between half and one. Let's be nice to ourselves today and do half. And then take the one and a half off, flip around, and you're gonna hold on to the rails. We're gonna start, in, your, your knees will be up against the shoulder rests, yep. And we're gonna start in neutral. We'll round, pull the carriage to us and go to imprint, and then roll it back out to neutral, all right? And your hands can either be up underneath you or they can be a little bit more out in front of you so you have a little bit more range, yeah. Okay, inhale, now exhale, curl and round, pull the carriage to your hands and then control it back out to neutral, 10. And exhale, curl it in and round, and nine and curl it in and round and roll it back out isn't this fun eight even more fun than the last one seven bring it back and six draw it back and five draw it back and four draw it Back, upper middle back to the sky still. Three, draw it back. And big breath out, two. Inhale, back. Last time, one. And back, nice work. Shift back into child's pose. Let your arms have a nice little stretch here. Okay, ladies, rest time is over. It's time for more arm fun. So we've got our serratus and our obliques all fired up. Now we can start pulling on our straps. We're going to do biceps, 
triceps, and rotators to start. Okay, first thing, let's drop our foot bars down. And then Malia is going to demonstrate on a box today so that we can see what it's like seated on a box. This is good for people who don't have 180 degrees to be able to bring their legs out in front of them so they can sit up on neutral pelvis. Uh, you can do between quarter, half, or one spring. Uh, Malia should probably do half or quarter. And then Shannon can choose if she wants to do half or one. We're going to do a whole lot of arms. The other thing, if you're uh, taller and your gear bar is out further, you can bring it in so that you have more range. So you could bring it into one or negative one if you're on a two or a three. The other thing you can do is tie knots in your ropes. All right, we don't have that problem because we are tiny little ladies. Flip around and you're gonna grab short loops in your hands. And biceps and triceps are in level one, but we're gonna do some just for fun. Reach those arms out in front, palms up. You're trying to get in neutral pelvis, rib cage sliding together, shoulders down the back. Inhale, exhale, bend those elbows 90 degrees. One, and inhale, control it out. And exhale, two, bring it out. Every time you bend those elbows, get taller. Three, bring it out. And four, double check your ribs. So this is one of those where we start pushing our ribs forward. Five, we wanna keep them laced as we bend the elbows. And six, and reach, and seven, and reach, and eight. Looking fabulous, ladies. And nine, last bicep curl here, 10, good. Okay, we're gonna go into triceps. So you're gonna take, pull your elbows back behind your waist, almost like you could slide a dowel rod behind your waist and your elbows. Keep your elbows still in space. At the same time, we don't wanna go anterior tip of our shoulder blades. We wanna keep them down and back. Deep breath and exhale, press back. Knuckles to the back wall. Yep, and then bend those elbows still in space. Trying to keep neutral wrists the whole time. 10 of these, please. Two, and bend. And every time you press those arms back, get a little taller. Three, pull the ribs together a little more for fun. And four, and then make it look so easy. Five, and halfway there. Six, they love arm work, it's their favorite. Seven, and eight, and nine. One more time, please. 10, good job. Okay, we're gonna do rotator cuff now. This can be dropped down to quarter. If, even if you are on one or half, this one you may have to drop down a little bit. So what we're gonna do, arms will be out, we'll bend, we'll lift, we'll put it down and bring it back forward, okay? We are gonna try for 10. So reach your arms up about shoulder height. Open the elbows as you inhale. Exhale, fist to the sky, keep your elbows still. Fist back down on a table and smooth it out to the front, one. Here we go, inhale, open, exhale, lift, inhale, lower down, reach it forward, two, and we open, and we lift, we li lower it down, reach it forward, three, and inhale, exhale. I can see the determination in their eyes. Four, you might not be able to, but I can. Open, lift, and down. Five, again. Open, lift, down, and six. Four more, we open, we lift, we put it down and seven, three more, 
open, lift, down, eight, two more, open, lift, down, nine, last set ladies, open, lift, down, and ten, good, rest. Okay, we are going to move into our roll downs. All right, so go ahead, grab the short loops in your hands. Good, nice and tall. Deep inhale, exhale, curl, roll off your sits bones. Shoulders are still down, inhale, stay. Exhale, we round forward like we're going over an imaginary ball. And then inhale, we're gonna sequence ourselves back up, energy up to the sky. And again, exhale, roll it down. Inhale, stay. Exhale, up and over. And then inhale, roll up. And again, roll it down. Three, inhale, stay. Exhale, round forward. And inhale, up. And exhale, four. Inhale, stay. Exhale, round forward and bring it up last set of these and five inhale stay exhale round forward and up good reach your arms out in front we're going to add some bicep curls inhale exhale roll down bend your elbows to 90 degrees keep those elbows as high as your shoulders stay inhale straighten it out 10 times exhale 10 and Nine, keep the rounded in the low back. Eight, and seven, and six, and a five, and a four, and a three, and a two, they're starting to glisten. And uh, one, inhale, stay. Exhale, let's round forward. And inhale, let's roll up nice and tall. We're gonna do roll down with rotation. I am going to bring our favorite circles to us. These are the purple circles of pleasure. Here we go. So you're gonna take the circle, the handle at the rib cage, and then the other handle out in front, and you're gonna hold the straps in your hands on either side of the circle, okay? Inhale, tall. Exhale, curl, roll back. Inhale, stay. As you exhale, you're gonna to twist to the right and try and keep your circle parallel to the floor so that it doesn't tilt her side to side. Inhale, back center. And now you're gonna to go to the left. Keep your circle parallel to the floor. Inhale, center. Exhale, round it forward. And now inhale, roll up tall. And we'll go and we'll start left this time. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, stay. Exhale, twist it left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist it right. Inhale, center. Exhale, round it forward. And up. One more set right, left, then left, right. Exhale, roll back. Inhale, stay. Exhale, left. Right, sorry. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, round forward, and inhale up, and exhale, roll back. Inhale, stay. Exhale, left, and center, and right, and center, and round forward, and here we go, roll up. Nice job. All right, bring it to rest. I will take the circles. We are going to flip, do air push-ups, arms overhead, and some more triceps. So, I will put the circles down. You ladies can turn round. You're gonna be up against the shoulder rest. Now, if you're on a box, you can go straddle with your legs, and you can choose if you wanna add springs or take springs away at this point. Half is generally good here. A quarter or half is good when you're up on the box in the beginning. Good, scoot back a little bit, Malia. You wanna be about a hand's distance away. Good, then reach back and grab your straps. 
and we're gonna just do air push-ups. So press out for 10, then straight down, arms up and down, 10, and then stay and bend and straighten the elbows for 10, okay? So bring your hands by your shoulders, and then you're gonna connect through your rib cage and stack your shoulders right up over your hips. If your legs are out, you can squeeze them all the way together and you can point them or flex them, whatever is best for you. Deep inhale, give it a push, ladies. Don't let your body go backwards, one, and then bend it back in and grow tall. And exhale, two, bring it back in. Exhale, three, connect those ribs, bring it back in. And four, bring it back in, halfway home. Five, and bring it in. And six, and bring it in. And seven, bring it in, and breathe it out. Inhale, two more, nine, inhale, and 10. Good, is everybody okay with their springs or we wanna drop them? Wanna drop them? All right, I'll grab it for you. Are we happy with our springs? We're happy with our springs. Being up on the box makes it a little more exciting than sometimes we remember. Okay, reach it out straight. We're gonna go straight up to the sky. So inhale, come up nice and tall. And then exhale, bring it down and grow taller. Good, 10. Inhale, bring it up nice and tall and press it down. Nine, so this is also fabulous for the abs. Bring it up, wrap those scapula, press it down. Eight, and inhale, bring it up, press it down. Seven. Double check your ribs here, bring it up. Make sure you're not leaning backwards. Six, and bring it up. And five, and bring it up. And four, and bring it up. And a three, and bring it up. And a two, good work ladies, and bring it up and press it down. Good, keep your arms out straight, bend your elbows right up. Perfect, and then straight back down, 10. And you can do palms in or you can do palms straight forward, whatever feels best for you. Nine, and bend, and eight, and bend, and seven, and bend, and six. Keep smiling and bend. This is what good feels like. Five and four and three and two and oh yes you've made it. One. Woo! Good job. All right put your straps down. Okay. We're gonna do some side arms. Are we okay to do some side arms here? All right, so you can choose half to one spring or you could do quarter to half. Uh, we're gonna turn face Shannon's way and we'll do adduction. So you have the short uh, strap in your hand and we'll pull across and then we'll change hands and we'll pull out for abduction. And then I will give you the purple circle of pleasure and we will do 10 obliques twisting. Okay, here we go. Nice and tall, inhale and exhale. Roll it across, one, and then bring it back out. And again, connect the ribs, two. We're just doing five of these. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, more smiling ladies. Fake it to make it. Four, and one more please, five, gorgeous. Okay, change hands and you can drop your tension a little bit. You can also use the long loop. The long loop will make it a little less miserable. So these abduction ones are the most exciting. Inhale, exhale, reach the elbow out and away. One, and then bring it in. And you can either do palm to you or as you lift, you can turn that palm away. And 
two. And what we're trying to feel is our scapula wrap around our rib cage. Three, and then our humerus bone will rotate nice and easy in our shoulder socket. Four. One more time, beautiful work. Five, woo! Okay, you'll probably wanna change springs. We're gonna do a spine twist, 10 with 10 pulses. So, I will get the circles. If you would like to add springs, you can. So we can do anywhere between half to one. Just remember what you were on before when we flip around to the other side, yep. Yeah. Or this will be very exciting abduction on this tension. Okay, loop goes around your handle this time. You wanna start right in the middle and you're trying to get the circle anchored at both ribs nice and even. Inhale, tall, exhale. You're gonna twist right. And now as you inhale, come back and you can go past center and get a full rotation. So remember that's the eccentric lengthening. And again, two. So we're getting our external internal oblique connection. Bring it back, also called the sash effect. Three. And bring it back nice and tall. And four. Bring it back nice and tall. And breath out. Good. Breath in. You can check your sits bones. Make sure both are weighted equally. Six. Inhale. And exhale. Seven. Inhale. And eight. Inhale. And nine. Beautiful work. One more time and then we pulse. Here we go, wrap it around, 10. Stay, release a quarter inch, pulse it out. A one and a two. Feel that left rib, three and four. Hips stay even, five, we get taller. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yes, fabulous. Okay, let's flip to the other side. We'll come back and do halos in a bit. So, change your springs back. We'll do first the adduction, then the abduction, and then we'll change springs before we go to our twist. Yep, and you can just put your circles down if you like. So you can do short loop now in your hand. Sit as tall as you can. Ribs connect. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, draw it across. Rub your tummy. One and bring it back out. Shoulder blades are wide. Two. And bring it back out. And three. Bring it back out. And four. Bring it back out. And five. Nice work. You can drop the springs a little bit if you like. So if you're at half, you could go to quarter, or if you're at one, you could go to half. Change hands. You can do long loop or short loop. Long loop's gonna make it a little easier on your shoulder. Okay, inhale, exhale. Reach that elbow down and out, and then bring it back across. And again, reach that elbow down and out, and bring it back across. Good work, ladies. And what we're thinking of is wrapping our shoulder blade wide. Three, yes, and then bringing it back. It looks beautiful. So the inferior angle of our scapula is trying to go around to our armpit. Four, Emily is doing a fabulous job. One more time. Five, and good. Okay, we're gonna go back to our twisting. So change your springs back to whatever tension you want. Again, it can be half to one. Grab your circle, put the circle right at the rib cage, and then you're gonna wrap the strap around the handle of that circle. We're growing tall. We're getting both hips even. We're getting our rib cage connected. Make sure we're not leaning forward or backwards on our box. Deep inhale, and twist to your left. And then return and grow tall. And again, give it your twist. 10 of these, two, 
and return it back. And three, return it back. And four, return it back. And five, and come back. And a six, and come back. Looking beautiful. Seven, grow taller, wringing our waist out. Eight, and two more. Nine, and one more. Ten. Good, release a quarter inch and pulse for 10. Exhale, 10, taller, nine, happier, eight, and a seven, and a six, and a five, and a four, three, and two, and we've made it. Woo! Okay, so the fun's not over. I wanna do halos, I love halos. All right, we'll start this way. Since we're here, you can do quarter or half spring. You can do this on one if you're feeling feisty, but I find it quite exciting. And if you're on a box, I recommend starting at half, and I'm starting at quarter and then building up to half. All right, so you're gonna grab your long loop in your hands. Circle is gonna have the handles in your hands. You're gonna have the strap on that hand and then bring it up overhead, but slightly in front, and it's gonna make it pull our ribs slightly together so that we can get a nice wide shoulder blade across the back. Here we go, inhale tall. Now exhale, you're gonna side bend to those springs, feeling that right rib push you over, and then come back center. Oh, delicious. And again, big exhale, two. We'll just do five for mercy, but feel free to build up to 10 at home. Three. And come on up. Four. Nice long arms if we can. One more. Five. Yay. All right, strap down, flip around. Five more. You can do this while I stand here talking. Okay, arms up, shoulders down, ribs connect, belly button to the spine, deep breath in, exhale, side bend now. Five, grow a little taller on the way back. Four, bring it up. Three, Bring it up. Two. Bring it up. Last one. One. And you've made it. Good job. All right, I will take the circles. You can put your straps down. And we'll move right along. All right, ladies, moving into pulling of the straps. Okay, so you will need your long box, so grab your box. And then we're gonna choose, you're gonna put it on lengthwise, that's why it's called long box, and then you're gonna choose between half or one springs, whatever you're feeling like today, give it a go. And we're gonna get on with our hip, open hips and then B.O.B. boobs off the box. We don't wanna smash anything valuable. You're gonna reach down and grab your ropes above the tapes and you can loop up your um, handles together so it doesn't make too much crazy noise while we're here. We're gonna, today we're gonna go start with palms up like PNF hands and then as we come back, our palms will be face down. All right, this gives us a little bit of help in rotating our humerus bone right inside of our acetabulum. I'm sorry, our glenohumeral joint. <laughs> I'm now I'm making up body parts. All right, here we go. Inhale, exhale. Reach down, bring your hands back by your hips and your palms are face down and we're trying to get one long line. So both of you press your uh, body down a little bit and squeeze your tush a little bit. There we go. And now reach your arms back down. Nice. Again, press it back. One long line, torpedo that head forward. 
And now as you go back down, you can round your spine down to the box. Beautiful. And again, arms down, torpedo that head forward. This is your third round. And bring it back down. And again, press it back. Four. And bring it back down. One more of these. Head goes forward. Five. And bring it down. Now we're going to reach out and around through a big T. Here we go. Sweep the arms out and around side. And then back to the hips as you shoot that head forward. And then out and around side. And back down. Nice. And again, this is two. Big breath out. And then big breath in as you come out and down. Try to keep those elbows straight on this one. And again, this is three. And bring it back out and down. And again, out and around side. And then hands to the hips, hollow the abs more. Good job. Out and around side and down. Last one of these. Out and around side, hands to the hips, out and around side, and back down. All right, here we go. Triceps, dig those arms down straight. Go ahead, bend your elbows when you're ready. Inhale and press it out. Ten, and we bend. Squeeze those legs. Nine, and we bend. Hollow those abs. Eight, and we bend. And seven, and we bend. Knuckles to the back wall, six. Nice neutral wrists here, and five. Squeeze the legs tighter, it feels so good. Four, and three, and two, and one. Arms go straight down, and go ahead, rest. Put those straps on the silver loops, long loops on the silver posts and then go back in a child's pose on your box if you like and take a little breather. You deserve it. Because we have more. We're doing short box. Okay. Set your boxes up for short box and anchor your carriage down with about three springs or so. Go ahead, put your strap on your feet, and then heels go up against. And if anyone needs a gripper for their heels, let me know, because sometimes these get a little digging in there. Nice and tall. Wrap your wrists, and we'll start with round back. Inhale, tall. Exhale, curl and roll it back. Lift it up. Picture frame. Round it forward, up and over your abs, and then sequence yourself up nice and tall. Shoulders down, head floats to the sky. Inhale, exhale. Roll it back. Frame the face. Round yourself forward. Roll it up. Two. And roll it back. Frame the face. Round it forward. Roll it up. Three. And roll back. Frame the face, round it forward, roll it up. Four, last time ladies, here we go, roll it back. Frame the face, round it forward, roll it up. Five, flat back or hinge, hands can go behind your head uh, with your elbows slightly in front. So it's like we have a dowel rod at our spine. We're going to inhale, hinge back, give it a go, hinge back. And then we're going to exhale, keep our nice long spine and come up tall. Good. Inhale, hinge back, flat back. And then exhale, come up and get tall. Two. Energy out the crown of the head. Hinge back, abs are up. And exhale. Three. Inhale, hinge it back. And exhale, taller on the way up. Four. Inhale, hinge it back. And exhale. Taller on the way up. Good. Stay there. Reach your arms outside in a big T. And we'll do spine twist. Inhale, tall to the right. Exhale. One, two, three. Inhale, center. And left. Two, three. And center. To the right. Two, three. And center. To the left. Two, 
three last round please we go right and a two and a three we go center and left two three good hands back where they were behind the head we'll go side to side inhale tall to the right side bend right and now inhale get up tall and side bend left and inhale grow a little taller and again side bend right and grow tall gorgeous ladies and left and grow tall one more time and right and grow tall and left and grow tall nice moving on into our tree so we're going to keep our left foot underneath our strap and you're going to pull your right leg up Right hand goes to your ankle, left hand to the back of the thigh. You are trying to stay up on your sits bones without rounding your lower back and without leaning backwards or going forwards. It's very easy. These ladies are gonna make it look like nothing. Here we go, inhale tall, exhale, straighten the leg one time and then bend the leg. Straighten the leg again and bend the leg. Straighten the leg, keep it there. Now, we're gonna walk up and get a big old stretch towards our ankle. Then you're gonna walk down, curl your pelvis under and bend the knee. And you're gonna roll down until you get your lower back to touch the box. You can pull that right knee in tight and you'll get a nice stretch in the front of that left hip flexor, hopefully. All right, good. Now, walk back up to a straight leg. So you're gonna come on up and walk up at the same time. And then bend the knee in. Good, and we're gonna do that all over again. And straighten the leg once. And we bend, yep, try not to lean back if we can. Two, and we bend, and three. Walk up the leg to stretch, and now walk down the leg, bend the knee and curl the pelvis under, and now you get more of a stretch in the front of your left rectus femoris and psoas. Beautiful, and now you're gonna We'll come, roll back up, walk up the leg for a nice stretch, and then we'll stay and do some stretching here. Flex that right foot, and point that right toe. And again, trying not to lean back, you're trying to stay on your tush here. Flex the right foot, and point the right toe. And now we'll do some circles. Circle your foot one way. Circle your foot the other way. Nice. All right, let's bring that leg down. And now bring both feet onto your carriage so you can let the strap go. You're going to take the right foot over the left knee. Starting with the flat back, get nice and tall. And now crease forward with the flat back so you keep your lumbar multifidy firing here. And then that will help get a little different stretch in the rotators on the right side of your hip. And now keeping the low back flat, when you're ready, go ahead, round all the way forward. So you're rounding up the spine now. And that'll give you a little bit different stretch there. Good. Nice. And when you're ready, come up and let's do it on the other side. Looking nice. Strap goes on the right foot. And we're gonna grab our left hand on the ankle, right hand on the thigh. Start with your knee bend, inhale, prepare. Exhale, stretch it out. And then inhale, we bend. Exhale, stretch it out. Inhale, we bend. Exhale, stretch it out. Nice, walk it on up. Now. You're gonna walk down your leg, curl your pelvis under, bend the knee into you, and squeeze that right glute and hamstring, and that'll give you a nice stretch in the front of your right rectus femoris and psoas. Good, now you're gonna come back up, walk back up the leg. Left hand to the ankle, right hand to the thigh, and walk up to straight, and then here we go. Bend it in, and stretch it out. Good, bend it in, and stretch it out, and bend it in, and stretch it out. Walk up to the ankle, give yourself a nice little stretch, and now we're going to 
walk down the leg, bend the knee in, and again roll back till our lower back is towards the box and we're squeezing our right glute and hamstring. Good. And now we're gonna walk back up the leg and go all the way up till the leg is straight and you're holding onto your ankle. Yep. And now we'll stretch here, flex the foot. And point the toes. Yep, and trying to get as tall as you can on your sits bones. Flex the foot. This is much easier said than done. And point the toes. And circle your foot around a couple times. And go the other way. Nice. Okay, bend that left knee and bring both feet up onto the carriage. Let's take our left foot onto the right knee. Nice flat back, so hinge forward, getting a nice crease in that left hip now. And now when you're ready, you can drape forward over your leg and get a little bit more stretch with a rounded spine. Good job. All right, ladies, come on up. We are moving right into short lever long stretch. So go ahead, put your boxes. Normally they go in the back, but for our purposes today, we're gonna keep them off to the front. And we're gonna bring foot bar to the top. And then you're gonna do, we'll do one and a half springs. You can do between one and two springs. Two springs is standard, but sometimes in the beginning it's good to have it a little lighter. And we'll be on with our toes up against our shoulder rests. So go for it. Toes up against the shoulder rests. Hands are about as wide as your shoulders. And you're gonna try line yourself up so that your head, your shoulders, and your hips are in one long line. So press your tush a little more forward. And let's bring your head back just a little, Miss Shannon. Here we go. Inhale, press out one long line. And then exhale, torpedo yourself on forward. We'll do 10. Inhale, press it back. And torpedo it forward, two. So this is another great way, inhale back, to fire up that serratus anterior. Three, keeping those shoulder blades wide. Inhale it back, and exhale, four. Inhale it back, belly to the back, back to the belly, and five. Inhale back, and six. Inhale back, and seven. Good, bring it back. Big breath out. Bring it back. Big breath out. Last time. Bring it back. And 10. Excellent. Elephant. All right, come on up on your carriage. And you can either have your heels all the way up against your shoulder rest, or if you're a little shorter, you can bring your heels a little bit closer to you. You can do anywhere between one and a half or two springs. We'll do one and a half today, uh, but two springs will help you bump it up a notch. And we're gonna start rounded. So round your spine, belly button is up and in, and you're looking at your knees. Your shoulders don't move. You're moving from the hip joint. Here we go. Press back, inhale, and pulse it in. Exhale, a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six, dig those heels down, seven, and an eight, that's fun, isn't it? Nine, and good, stay there. Reach your tail to neutral, stabilize those shoulders. You're gonna be looking almost at your shoulder rest. Here we go, press it back, inhale, exhale. One, and a two, I mean your foot bar. Three, and a four, and a five, and a six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, drop down onto your knees. Tuck those toes under against your shoulder rests. We're gonna be sitting back towards our heels about two inches off our heels. You're gonna round your spine to start. So you're looking at your knees. We're gonna keep our shoulder joints still and let the movement again happen at our hip joint. 
knee stretches press back inhale and pulse it in exhale one and almost to the stopper two and bring it in three and in and five and a six and in and in and nine and ten roll it out to neutral spine stabilize the shoulders eyes can gaze almost at your foot bar here we go press it back inhale and pulse it in ten and nine and eight and seven six five four three neutral pelvis two and one Woo! nice job all right moving into side splits we'll do knees bent and straighten either our carriage leg or our platform leg okay that was beautiful go ahead put your foot bar down and we're gonna grab your grippers and you're gonna put them on each side and then bring your carriage into negative one and we'll start going uh, Shannon's way and we'll do uh, one spring today. You can do uh, one half or one and a half. Half is going to be more of your inner thighs. One is going to be a little more of your outer thighs and one and a half will be a lot of outer thighs. All right. Always step on solid surface first. So go ahead, step on solid surface first. Hop up. Heels are about underneath your sits bones. And we're just going to put our hands on our hips. Good. And now bend your knees right over your toes. You're going to keep your knees bent. And let's straighten our left leg first or our carriage leg first. So do not move on the right side at all. Here we go. Exhale. Straighten the left and then bring it in. Just five of these. And two. Beautiful ladies. And three. Bring it in. And four. Bring it in. So perfect for our glute medius. Five. Good. Now stabilize that carriage leg and you're going to straighten the platform leg. Go for it. Uh, one. And this is a little more fun. I know. Two. Because you're having to balance on a moving surface. Three. That's why we love Pilates. And four. Last time, ladies. Five. Good job. All right, bring the carriage to rest. You're going to step off. Remember, uh, carriage surface first, so always have something on a solid surface. Go ahead, walk yourself around, hop back on. Nice job. Hands at the hips. Abs are up and in. Reach those knees over the toes, and we'll start by straightening the right leg first. Go for it. Press it out. Five and four and three energy out the crown of the head abs are still up and in two and last set one nice left leg goes and five and four and three and two and oh yes one delicious nice okay step off right leg comes off first and guess what it's time to massage our stomachs stomach massage okay so you can do traditionally you bring the foot bar all the way to the top for a little less misery you can drop it down into the middle bring your gear bar back to your setting and we're going to do uh, you can do two and a half to three springs. So let's just do two and a half today. And I'll take your other gripper for you when you're ready. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we'll have a seat. And you're going to do toes on, heels together, toes apart. So our goal is to get our tush as close to the edge of our reformer as we possibly can. But we're still in the process of learning in level two. So we don't want to go so far that we can't do the exercise. So go to where we can handle it. So the first is round back. So hands are at our uh, carriage. And we'll go slow first. You're going to press out. Inhale out. And then exhale, lower the heels. Inhale, lift the heels. And exhale, come in. As you come in, 
Knees are only about as wide as your shoulders, and then you're squeezing your tush from the back. Again, slow. Inhale, squeeze the tush. Exhale, lower the heels. Inhale, lift the heels, and now hollow those abs in more. We're gonna go up to tempo. The tempo will be out, lower, lift, and in. Here we go, ladies. Inhale, out, lower, lift, one. And out, lower, lift, two. Inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale. Good, out, lower, lift, six. Shoulders down the back, out, lower, lift, seven. And out, lower, lift, eight. Nice work. Out, lower, lift, nine. And out, lower, lift, 10. All right, stay there. Grow tall to the sky. Reach your hands around back, and you're gonna try put your hands at the shoulder rest and open your chest. If that is too much, you can go ahead and put your hands on the carriage and open your chest there. Again, we're trying to keep our shoulders over our hips as much as we can and get as tall as we absolutely can. Let's go. Inhale, press. Lower, lift. Exhale, get taller and come in. Good. And press. Lower, lift. Taller on the way in. And press. Lower, lift. You should feel a stretch across your shoulders. And press. Lower, lift. Four. And press. Lower, lift. Five. And press. Lower, lift. Six. And press. Lower, lift. Seven. And press. Lower, lift. Knees only as wide as your shoulders. Eight. And press, lower, lift, nine. And press, lower, lift, get taller, 10. Nice job, all right. Come out of there, we are moving into our hip lifts. Three springs on, foot bar to the top, and I will take our grippers. Thank you. You're gonna lay down. You're gonna put your heels on the foot bar, hips distance apart. In one full swoop, you'll lift your hips up, and then we'll inhale out 10 times, keeping our pelvis almost like it's on the same plane as we go in and out. Okay, inhale. Exhale, lift the hips. Here we go, press out. Inhale, press, and come in. 10, and press, and a nine, and press, and an eight, and press, and a seven, and press, and a six, and press, and a five, halfway there, press, and four, feels so good at the end of your workout, three, press, two, and press, oh yes, one, inhale, stay, now stick your tush out and crease that hip down to the ground, into hip rolls, we'll roll up, press out, come in and roll down, here we go, inhale, exhale, now rolling through the spine, Inhale, we push it out. Exhale, we pull it in. And then inhale, we roll down. Right away, exhale, roll up, two. Inhale, press. Exhale, pull. And then inhale, roll it down. And exhale, roll up. And press. And pull. And roll down. Let's do two more, ladies. And roll up and press, come in, and roll down, one more, and roll up, and press, and in, oh yes, it is time to stretch, single thigh stretch, all right, so we're going to do full single thigh stretch kneeling on the reformer today, one and a half springs, you can do one and a half to two. And for more excitement, you leave the foot bar all the way to the top. For a little bit less excitement, but still quite a bit of excitement, you're gonna bring your foot bar down into the middle. All right, so you pick what you wanna do. Let's start with our right foot at the shoulder rest. And then our left foot is gonna come up onto the foot bar. You're gonna feel like you're lunging forward. Our goal is to get a nice big stretch in the front of our right thigh. Take a breath. And now as you exhale, you're gonna press your carriage back. 
Our goal is to get as much stretch in the front of our right thigh as we can, and then you can straighten that left leg out as much as you can. You will also feel a hamstring stretch on the left. Good. Now, come on in, bend that left knee, and drag that knee over the foot and get more stretch in the front of the right thigh. And again, press it out. And pull it in. One more like so. Press it out. And draw it in. Stay there, abs up and in. Walk your hands up to your left knee. See if you can balance there. And if you're feeling fancy, reach your right arm up to the sky, abs up and in, and you can do a little arch up and back and get even more stretch all the way through the front of the right side. Good. And when you're ready, come on down. Good, bring your left foot down to the shoulder rest. Right foot is gonna go up onto the foot bar. Here we go. Press back. Nice big stretch in the front of that left thigh. Good. And then when you're ready, bend that right knee and drag that carriage in so we get even more stretch in the front of the left thigh. And press it out. And drag it in. And last time, press it out. And drag it on in. Good. Walk your hands up to the right leg. And if you like, Bring that left arm up to the sky and arch back a little bit. And come out of it. Beautiful work today. Go ahead, take your foot off the bar and rest. Thank you so much for joining us today. Remember, you can visit us online at www.upsidedownpilates.com. You can also check us out on YouTube. Facebook, and Instagram. Have a lovely day, and we'll see you next time. Aloha.